Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. I really appreciate it. I am doing two free readings at 6,000 subscribers, so just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment and you are also in the running for that. Um, I just want uh, to warn everybody not to uh, uh, that there is somebody posing as me in the comments. So please do not give your information or your money to anybody who offers you a phone number in the comments. Uh, if you do want to book with me, I absolutely am doing readings and you just need to uh, email me. My email's in the description. We're going to move on, but today we're going to ask what is their karma for hurting you. We're going to move on to pile number one. So pile number one, you have the black cameo. And what is their karma for hurting you? What is pile one's karma for four of four of cups? Ace of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Empress. I feel like they realized that they I feel like they they can see what you have to offer. Like they see that you have this, like you have everything. Like you're essentially, you're a very ideal mate for a lot of people. Um, um, and they needed to they needed to offer you something real, uh, and they didn't. They didn't. Um, and in fact, they might have rejected your offer. Uh, and I feel like... I feel like some of them are realizing that they may not have another chance. Because... Like, if anything, you're maybe out of their league. It's like they got this gift of love from the divine, an offer that they... Yeah. They, they can't do better than you. Um, I feel like they can't do as well as you. Um, and they realize that you offered them real love and they treated it like it was not important. They treated it, they treated the love that you offered them badly. What's their karma? Emperor? Are they are they manning up and becoming the emperor? I feel like they really they treated this love and this opera badly because they wanted to have control. They wanted to be in control. However, they um, they just caused there to be discordance between the two of you. What's their karma for hurting you? What's their karma for hurting you? I feel like they have to really realize, uh, like they're, they're really realizing how deeply they messed up. Um, they're realizing that they might have thrown away their opportunity to have 
um, happy, long-lasting relationship. They may have thrown away their only opportunity to have a long-lasting, healthy relationship. Um, and they're also having to face the reality of that. Um, three of Pentacles. Page of Cups. I feel like they kind of know that they're... I feel like because they are, have come to the realization that they need to, to make... Some of them may come in and apologize. Um, some of them realize that, that, they, that the apology may not matter. Um, what's their karma for hurting you? The karma for hurting you is losing you. Having the person that they could have happily ever after with walk away. And really not being able to be in denial. Um, so their karma for hurting you is losing you. You may want more than that, but, you know, despite the fact that they created a lot of problems in this relationship, there was love. I feel like they wanted control. They wanted control. And as a result, they lost they lost the you know they, they lost the best person that they could have ever had get addicted to growth I mean this person like could be really wanting to do more growth but I feel like some some of you like this person there might have been some level of addiction. There might have been. But this person didn't necessarily use their power well. Um, and, you know, maybe because they actually truly need to still grow. Learn how to be a good di a listener. Don't wait for your turn to talk. Again, I feel like this person... Again, wanted to maintain control, so they, I feel like they were not listening to what you needed. Because they were trying to, you know, like, they were looking out for themselves, which essentially sabotaged this entire scenario. What is their karma for hurting you. Intuition. Between this and the high priestess, like they, they don't get to have any kind of denial about the situation. Like they know, they have to know that they lost this and they lost this because of what they did. Um, What's their karma for hurting you? I mean, this person is acquiring wisdom. Like, this person is learning from hurting you. Like, they're, they are... And I've got the pearl as well. So, like, I feel like this person, like, did acquire, you know, knowledge. Um... 
and this person may use that to refine themselves but uh, with the gear <laughs> which threw up, flew out of my hands and now I can't find it that's about like a need to work together so I feel like this person is gaining wisdom regarding working together um, this person uh, and this person is refining themselves can I get any any advice for pile number one? I felt like I just needed to ask another card for advice. Um, for you, I feel like the best thing to do in this situation is continue to ground and work on yourself um, and go after your own opportunities. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that for every pile, but this one felt like I needed to. So it looks like this person, this person knows you're perfect for them and knows that you walked away, um, that they have lost you because they, um, you know, they were too foolish to take the golden opportunity in front of them and they sabotaged things. So it may not feel like that matters to them in your eyes, but it does matter to them. They, they are very hurt by this, but it's also they created this. Like they, they, they created this ending between the two of you. Like they made this happen. And, you know, to the point where you will walk away from the long term with them because they didn't work together with you. So I hope that this helps you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment. I also want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, and booking readings. I do have somebody posing as me in the comments. It is not me. I, if somebody gives you a phone number or a WhatsApp, it's absolutely not me. If you do want to contact me, my email is in the description. That is safe. That is secure. Um, but just don't give that person money or your information. And we're going to move on to pile number two with the flower. Now this flower is kind of a tropical flower. For some of you, that's going to have some kind of significance. Um, what is their karma for hurting you? What is their karma for hurting you? Nine of cups. King of Swords. Ace of Wands. Page of Cups. Are you the King of Swords? Or are they the King of Swords? Feel like they're being represented by the King of Swords. Are they receiving wish fulfillment? Give me some clarity. Are they receiving a new beginning? I feel like they can see that you're starting off on a new beginning. I feel like this person, this person feels like you're happy without them. With the Page of Cups. Is this about, are they going to apologize? Do they, I feel like this person, you know, they didn't act in an emotionally mature way regarding you. Like they, they really wanted to 
you know, be in their head and like they they just there there's a lot of like they were not very developed emotionally. And this person sees you moving on and sees you be happy. Um, what are what is their karma for hurting you? Are they going to put time and energy and effort? I feel like this person. It's not about. Uh, I feel like this person just feels like you're moving forward. That's what this person sees. This person sees you moving forward. This person sees you being happy. This person sees you being happy without them. What's their karma for hurting you? The High Priestess. I feel like this person sees you knowing things that they don't understand. Now the, you know, the magician and the high priestess, like they could also be a couple. One and two. But I feel like this person sees you doing whatever you want with your life. Like you making your wishes come true. You being independent and happy. You being excited and taking action. And I feel like this person isn't happy with what they're left with. This person doesn't feel... This person is dissatisfied with their life and they see you doing better without them and that's I feel like that's the thing they see you just genuinely doing better without them with the five of swords is somebody I feel like this person it's like you keep on manifesting for the uh, for yourself and this person keeps on creating no one situations I feel like this person wants to show you how responsible they are. But again, this person, like, they, they want to show that they're okay. But they keep on, you know, creating these no-win situations and they're not happy with their life and they feel like yeah, there. This person continues to cause chaos, so they continue to have chaos. So this person, they do strongly feel the ending between the two of you. Like they feel like there was a real end, and it sucked. Uh, this person feels like you won um, even if it actually shouldn't be about winning or losing but this person feels like everything's going great for you uh, and they're trying to look like everything's going great for them but everything around them isn't great like conflict 
serious conflict, betrayal, unhappiness. Like, this person is kind of, you know, they're living what they, you know, like, this is the seeds of what they planted. So, if this person seems fine, that's because they, you know, do a lot to make it look like they seem fine. But around them, you know, you know, a lot of people don't want to deal with this person. Um, I feel like this person doesn't want to even deal with themselves. You know, they're, they're just dissatisfied because chaos, you know, chaos... Fight and no win situations and betrayal and endings. So, this person really feels like you, for lack of a better word, like this person, if they were a romantic partner, they feel like you won the breakup. If you're a, um, if you're some other uh, type of relationship, like this person just feels like everything is wrong for them even though they'll do anything they can not to look like it like they're gonna go out of their way to look as prosperous as possible uh, but they feel like everything's actually going well for you um, I've got the Frida Kahlo I feel like you were one of the few genuine people in this person's life and that's one of the reasons why this person has all this chaos and drama and dissatisfaction um, because you know you were one of the few real people that they had in their life the, one of the few people that they actually could have trusted I feel like they appreciate you now. I, I don't know if that was the case in the past, but this person, again, like, they... Even if they wanted options, like, they don't want the options that they're receiving. Um, they still think about this connection. Um... But yeah, everything is chaos and betrayal on their end, and they just feel like, you know, you're just making your life happen, and, you know, yeah, they feel like your life is better off without them, um, and that may be the case. This person does fantasize about a new beginning with you, because I feel like they really realize you know, the, what, you know, they, they realize, you know, what you offered them, you know, like, they realize that, you know, you, you gave them prosperity, but, like, they see you just tunneling on ahead, doing a great job, grandmother, is this like a female ancestor? I, I, for somebody, there's the grandmother charm here. Uh, this could be about... Is this about their grandmother, your grandmother, some kind of female ancestor? I feel like this has to do with some kind of female ancestor. I, I am, I'm having trouble getting anything more specific than that on this one. Um, with the... Yeah, I feel like this person got a lot of clarity about you um but a lot of the clarity they're getting about you is that you know what's the part of the clarity that they're getting about you is that your life is easier without them that you know Wherever they go, all this chaos and unhappiness happens. And when you... And, and they, you know... But you're out here 
moving ahead, having new beginnings, you know, really making the energy and the universe work for you. Just like really, like they do see you as somebody who really just understands what there is, what needs to happen and does it. Like, so this person, this person is jealous of you. They may be jealous of other people in in your life too, but this person is jealous of you because they see that, you know, everything keeps falling apart with them and everything just keeps going ahead for you. And this person is very seems to be very about comparison. So, I hope that this helps you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 6,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment. And you are in the running for that. Um, I also want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, and booking readings. If you do want to book with me, uh, there's an email in the description. Um, there is somebody posing as me in the comments. They created a fake account. So, um, do not give them your information. Do not try to book with them. They are not me. Um, but my email is safe, secure, and I answer several times a day. So, um, we're going to move on to our gorgeous pile number three. Number three, my gorgeous and talented people. So, realize that the timestamp right there was... That's weird, because it was 20... <laughs> so, I, I, for some reason, I thought I saw 3737. I almost wrote that down. So, that might be significant to some of you. Three is, uh, is a few things, but it could be uh, mind, body, spirit, um, divine masters, uh, you know. Um, it can also... but And seven is about spiritual enlightenment so what is their karma for hurting you what is their karma for hurting you the empress death ace of wands justice Like there, there's going to be some kind of just served. Um, there could have been something that was super unbalanced here. Um, but death and justice, like uh, the end of this situation was justice. Like the Empress, are they the Empress? Are you the Empress? Like you kept on getting the empress in a lot of these piles. I feel like they created a situation in which the only the only way for justice was an end. Um and you have everything that they want and you are making a new beginning what is their karma for hurting you devil their karma for hurting you is that they continue to be stuck in unhealthy things and unhealthy cycles. This person also probably feels relatively obsessed with you. But, but also with the Empress, Death, Justice. Like this person, regardless of the the inevitable ending that happened between the two of you um 
this person, they, um, they're not coming out of their darkness. That's what's happening. You're going to get a new beginning and they're going to obsess about you. But not... It's like this person is staying in the dark. Because this person really needed to transform this negativity, this obsessiveness, this, uh, you know, holding on to what's, you know, like this person has a lot of attachments and not all of them are, um, and some of them are really unhealthy. Um, but I feel like they... I, don't, I think that some of them really fought for that. You know, like they fought for the things that they were addicted to rather than what would have made them happy. Queen of Pentacles. Is there another person in this? For some of you there is, but I'm not getting that that's this person. I feel... Like, this person knows that, you know, you couldn't have been a better for them. And I just heard that they couldn't have been, like, they couldn't have been worse for you. Like, maybe they could have, like, but, like, they, they didn't bring healthiness to the table and they haven't them not uh, them hurting you is keeping them in this darkness and it's almost like they were fighting for their internal darkness which truthfully like a lot of us do because even if we have bad coping mechanisms, those coping mechanisms were at some point something that got us through to, you know, the next moment. But this person has had things be unhealthy for a long time. Uh, so I feel like you have a new beginning and they have confusion and obsession and they are, like, this person, I feel like, definitely does feel some obsession regarding you. Even if they did everything to keep you out of their life. I feel like this person, this person knows that they could have had everything with you. And now this person has to figure out how to move forward. What is their karma for hurting you? What is their karma for hurting you? Are they going to have a long, happy relationship? Is it going to hit them? Does this have to do with family? Okay, why does this have to do with family? All right, my, uh, do some of you have a family? with? Is some of you have a family for this person? I feel like, and if so, then maybe this person is losing that family instability. Because, like, you ha uh, there's ultimate, like, there's a lot of wife, mother energy whether or not you're you're married uh, or even male but there's a lot of like this could be 
I feel like this person, like they're sacrificing their long-term stability. That's what they're, that's what they're losing. They're losing that chance at, at having, you know, the home, the family, um, And they lost it because, well, are people being unfair to them? I feel like this person, they, this person was looking out for themselves. Um, again, this person was looking out for themselves. This person um, was fighting to stay in unhealthy things. And this person, like, this person is super is very disappointed regarding you but I feel like this person has a lot of things that they regret and they actually have a good reason to regret those things because this person this person did wrong they do regret it they did cause heartbreak um and loss and grief and they and they lost and they lost an ideal partner that they could have had this long-term success with and they don't know what their life is going to look like now Are you are they going to have a new beginning are they going to offer you a stable new beginning I feel like a lot of them want to stop for you a stable new beginning um, because there's been a lot of loss and pain here um, but this person like they know you're gonna move forward uh, and they and the only bright thing ahead that they see is this long-term success with you so this person, has this person worked, moved out of this energy? Has this person moved out of this energy? Because I feel like this person is moving to an energy of wanting to offer something that's worth having um, because they weren't. Like, whatever they were, you know, like they were looking out for themselves and holding on to unhealthy things. When you start to do what you love, you'll see the true profits. I feel like this person is really, you know, like this person does want to re... I feel like this person is realizing that they're not going to have this level of of success without you like um find the people who will love you for exactly who you are and hold on to them i feel like this person like they are recognizing that you loved them for who they were um and that's why you could have had this long-term, happy, healthy. Um, and I feel like they're realizing that if they don't hold on to that, they may not ever have that opportunity again. Time out. Um... It's like uh, the universe is putting this person on a timeout for bad behavior because, like, they're, again, like, the ending between you had to happen because the energy they were putting in, like, that was the only thing, way for things to balance out between the two of you. So I do feel like if this person comes and starts balancing things with you, um, that there can be justice, um, but you also don't want to put up if they start, if they s demonstrate their past negative, unhealthy behaviors, then um, 
you know, don't waste your time. But I feel like this person genuinely wants a new start and a beginning with you. Um, and they do realize that you're going to have a new beginning with them or without them. They want it to be with you. Um, but of course, what you want is up to you. Um, you know, we don't owe people unlimited chances. And this person, you know, certainly made poor choices. Um, but I feel like this person, like, they see, when I say they're a little obsessed with you, like, they're, they're, they only feel like their future is with you, like, so, they don't know, even though they haven't acted right, like, they don't know what their plan B is going to be like they don't know what that is whether you whether you're going to to let them have another opportunity in your life but they're fairly obsessed with it um they're fairly obsessed with you um and they do see you they see you as the person that they can have this stability and happiness with let's move on but first, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 6,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment and you're in the running for that. Um, I also want to say that I do not... Um, I, I don't it, I will answer in the comments but I'm not going to offer a phone number or a whatsapp if you see that it is not me please don't give them any information please don't get them any money uh, I do do personal reading so if you want to contact me in the description there is my email I check it all the time <laughs> so just make sure you email me and we can set something up or but definitely don't um, you know definitely don't contact anybody who's giving you numbers and stuff in the comments just for your own safety and financials so we're gonna move on to our gorgeous pile number four hello Pile number four. So I just kept on writing fours, even though it was 42, 44. So somebody 444 or 444 is going to be significant to this pile, which unsurprisingly for pile number four. What is their karma for hurting you? There's some kind of significant ending. I feel like there, there's a this person is experiences a lot of grief. So with the King of Cups, are you the King of Cups? I feel like for most people, they are the King of Cups. Um, I feel like they feel very alone with their emotions. Um, they feel like there has been a definite and final ending. Um, they feel a lot of grief. They still can't help but, like, hold out hope that things will happen or get better. But, like, I feel like with the star, this person feels like, because the star is also wish fulfillment. I feel like this person 
wishes there could be healing and wish fulfillment between the two of you. But right now they they their their karma is just dealing with loss. Being alone with their emotions, being um, stuck in their head and their anxiety. This person really feels like you have um, truly, truly emotionally walked away. Um, and, and this person still, still has hope, um, kind of. Like they feel like they're hoping their healings with you. But I don't think that they feel like they can um, get there. Because it's like you're their hope and healing and you've walked away. And this person is having to face the loss of you walking away. And this person is ha has such anxiety about, about the ending and the seeming final, the, the finality of what's happening. Because death, death, anxiety, grief, walking away. This person's really... This person kind of imagines that you'll come in and, and fix things doesn't necessarily mean that that's what you're supposed to do but I feel like they feel all this end and finality between you and some part of them also sees you coming in and saving the day it doesn't really make sense but then again this is not necessarily about sense This person feels imbalanced. Like they feel like they don't know how to make work what's in front of them. What is their karma for hurting you? Five of Wands. I feel like this person, like, they just generally find, like, you know, that things aren't working out. And I feel like this, this person feels very isolated. This person, if if they can get any information on you, they're trying to, um, because they. It's like it feels like you're not the only thing that's not working out in their life. Like there's just a lot of endings and grief and anxiety and things not working out um, and this person is really having to I feel like this person is really having to consider why you walked away seven of swords I feel like they they know That, that you walked away because of their sneaky behavior. But like, this person just feels like, it's like you feel, to this person, you feel like their only point of hope. Like a lot of things are not working out for them. I feel like they're, yeah.
And this person is having to be alone with their emotions. They're having to really consider things. I, fig uh, I feel like they're having to figure out how to fight your, their battles. And whether or not you're in their life, but I really feel like, you know, you probably haven't been. Uh, like, they still, they still, they still look at you, they still think about you. Page of Pentacles. I feel like this person is just starting to, like, they've had a lot of imbalance and they're just starting to figure out how to create some balance in their life. Um, but yeah, this person is going through a lot of difficult experiences right now. Um, and that and these experiences are actually really necessary for the sacred journey. This these experiences are really necessary for their growth. This just flipped over when I grabbed the other one. I want, I just want to be with you. And this person does want to be with you. But they also... I feel like you walked away for a reason. So... But I feel like this person is on some kind of journey. And you seem to be... To them, whether or not, and you don't have to give them another chance because people don't deserve unlimited chances from us, you know, but I do get that, like, this person is, is kind of using you like the North Star as the thing that guides them. Uh... But yeah, everything everything isn't so fun for them right now. They want to be with you. They want healing with you. Evolving involves eliminating. This person may realize that you needed to let them go to continue to grow. Like, this person might, may realize that it's you you may have had to eliminate them to to continue um on um this person also may be eliminating the things that aren't healthy with them in it in an attempt to make a journey back to you because again they i feel like this person like they they see you as this star. They see you as this light. They see you. And there's a lot of things not going right for them. So I feel like uh, some of them, they're like eliminating anything that isn't going to get them. Isn't going to get you back. That's what I heard. Overthinking creates a prison in your mind for yourself. Yeah, I feel like this person very much had this prison in their mind. Um, and there was a lot of problems. Uh, I feel like this person is realizing that they have to transform and change, especially with the death card twice. Um, that they have to transform and change in order to have any kind of wish fulfillment, really. Um, they want wish fulfillment with you, but you're not the only thing that's not working out for them. Um, so with the rats, again, this person might have been you know, this person might have been being sneaky. Is this person currently being sneaky? I feel like this person's not currently being sneaky, but like this person, you know, really did do some sneaky things. This person thinks that 
you are cute, adorable, like they they just want to be around you, uh, like they want, like they, you, even though things are not working out for you, you're a source of comfort for this person. Which may be not what you want to hear, you know, because you're asking what's their karma for hurting you. But this person, you're pretty, very little is working out for them. And for some reason, even though they hurt you, you still give them some kind of hope. Um... I feel like they see you as this authentic, um, kind person. This, this real, uh, they, they also see you as a strong individual. Like they, you are somebody that is choosing to be you. Like they may feel like you have this star quality. This person is working to be a better person. So, even if they weren't that great of a person, this person is working to be a better person, and they're working to get a be, be a better person because of you. Like, because of you, they are working to be a better person. Um, this person has gained some wisdom, and they, they are slowly but surely working their way forward. Um... They no matter how they treated this connection, um, like this the connection is kind of what's keeping them going at this point. Um and you're like, what connection? Well again, we don't know uh we don't always have super you know, sometimes we have people who aren't the healthiest. But I feel like this person had created a cr uh, prison from overthinking. Um, they are trying to figure out how to move forward. And they do see you... They see you as the reason to move forward. They see you as the reason to grow. So again, whether or not you take them back you know, or you want to let them back in your life, all that is up to you. But right now, as a result of hurting you, pretty much everything's haywire in their life right now. <laughs> like, uh, you know, whatever they want to work isn't working, uh, and they're really, really grieving. Um, but they do have plans, uh, but they are... They are moving and changing and growing. Uh, and they and they do see you as this special light, as this wish fulfillment. Um, so I hope that this helped you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 6,000 subscribers. Um, just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment and you're in the running for that. I also want to say thank you again for everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, and booking readings. For those of you who do want to book readings, um, the only way to contact me is um, the email in the description. If somebody is giving you a WhatsApp or a phone number, that is absolutely not me. They'll only give that to you in the comments because anybody can make a comment. Somebody has made a fake account. Um, it's not my account. This one's still safe, secure, but please don't give them any information or any money. So thank you again. I really appreciate you.